The third sorting algorithm that we're going to look at is called the merge sort. And this is quite a bit different than the insertion sort or the selected sort. Um, I think you'll, you'll quickly see where, where this is headed. Um, here I have eight cards, um, and I want to sort the eight cards numerically. Um, but do you know what? Um, that seems like too much work. And so I'm not going to sort all eight cards. Rather, I'm going to get two friends to help me sort all eight cards. Um, and I'm going to ask one friend to sort the first four cards, and the other friend to sort the last four cards. And when they're done, I'm simply going to merge them together. Now imagine if you're my first friend and you're responsible for these four cards. You might look at these four cards and go, you know what? This is too much work. I'm gonna talk to two other friends and I'm gonna have my two friends each sort half of the cards. So I'm gonna have two friends sort those cards and two friends sort these cards and then I'm simply gonna merge them back together uh, because that seems a lot easier. And now you can probably see where this is going. Imagine that you're the friend who is responsible for these two cards. And you look at these two cards and you can say, do you know what, sorting these two cards is too much work. Um, so I'm gonna get help from two of my friends. And I'm gonna divide up these two cards and give them one each to each of my friends and have them sort the cards. And then when they give me back the sorted cards, I'm simply going to merge them together and then I'll be done. So imagine now that you're the friend who was just given this one card and asked to sort it. And you simply said, well, that's, that's easy. I only have one card. If I only have one card, it is sorted. I'm done. I got an easy job and you return it to your friend. And then the other friend who is responsible for sorting the nine similarly says, I only have one card, it's sorted. I'm done with my role. I can simply return the nine to my friend. Now, the friend who had the, originally the card, the two and the nine now has to merge these together. And so that friend will basically look at the first card returned from his first friend and the first card returned from the other friend and decide which one comes first. Well, the two comes before the nine. So when this friend merges them together, he'll put the two first, and then he'll put the nine, and these will be in order, okay? Similarly, a another friend returned the eight is sorted and returned the five is sorted. And so the friend that was responsible <coughs> for the eight and the five now has to merge these together. And the way that they merge them together is they look at the eight, the first card in the, on the left side, and they look at the five, the first card on the right side, and they say which one comes first, and the five comes first, so the five goes in order, um, and then there's no more cards on the right side, so the card on the left side must come next, and we put the eight here. And a sim similar operation can happen here. When these two cards are merged, the seven is merged before the four, or before the 10, and the four is merged before the six. And so now I'm gonna move these so they stay within the video. I'm gonna slide these all back up a little bit, make sure they stay within the frame. And I'm gonna draw some lines here to determine how things are sorted. This set is now sorted, this set is sorted, this set is sorted, okay? So now it's back to another friend, um, and one friend returned the cards two and nine and sorted other, and the other friend returned the cards five and eight in sorted order. So now this friend has to determine, has to merge these four cards together. And the way the merge operation looks like is they start at the beginning of each half. So I start at the beginning of the left half and the beginning of the right half. And I say which card is less, the two or the five. The two is less, so it's gonna go first. And then I look at the new first card on the left side and the first card on the right side, and I ask which comes next, and the five comes next, so it goes here. And then I look at the next card 
on the left side and the next card on the right side and I ask which is first. It's the eight. There's no more cards on the right side. The last card on the left side moves here. And now these four cards are sorted. Now another friend looks at these four cards, receiving the seven and 10 sorted from one friend and the four and six sorted from the other friend. And they look at the first card on the left side and the first card on the right side and ask which is less and it's the four. So the four gets put first in terms of the merge. Looking again at the seven and now the new first card on the right side, which is the six, the six is less than the seven, it moves here. There are no more cards on the right so the card here on the left must come next, the seven, and then the 10. And once again, I'm gonna slide these cards up to keep everything in the screen. And at this point, we are back to me. My friend returns to me the cards two, five, eight, and nine. And my second friend returns to me the cards four, six, seven, and 10. And now all I have to do is merge these together, which seems a lot easier than sorting all eight cards. And so I will look at the first card on the left side and the first card on the right side and determine which comes first. And then I will continue looking at the new first card on the left and the first card on the right and determine which comes first. And I will keep doing this as I work my way through all the cards. These two, these two, these two. And now there's no cards left on the left. The 10 is left on the right. And now I have sorted all eight cards according to the merge sort. Here's the interesting thing about the performance of this algorithm. Overall, we have to look at all eight cards. So for n equals eight, we look at all eight cards. Um, and we have to merge those together. Okay, so that's an, an important factor here. Um, but think about how many times we split them. How many times do we cut the number of cards in half and pass it along to two friends to do this? So we start with this set here, but then we break it into two sets of four. That's one split. And then we break it into two sets of two. That's another split. And then we break it into two sets of one. And that's our final split. And so the power of this sorting algorithm is while we look at all n cards, the number of splits we do is log n. And so we say that this algorithm has a big O notation of n log n. And for large values of n, very large values of n, n log n is significantly smaller and therefore faster than n squared. And that's why the merge sort is such a powerful sorting algorithm.